Brenner Design have unveiled two very futuristic concepts. The B-Bop and the B-Bop. Yes, the B-Bop and the B-Bop. Two interpretations of the MPV theme. One is an all-terrain, while the other one is a bit more sporty, but both coming under the Renault Sport brand. From the side, these four-meter-long cars stand out for their vast glazed surface, reminiscent of a water droplet. Renault tell us that the theme suggests movement and aerodynamic sleekness. The water droplet is a superb symbol of aerodynamic purity, Mikhail Jardin, director of concept car design, told me earlier. Yeah, right, Blanco. Bebop and Bebop have been created to provide a solution to the problem of MPVs, whose lack of aerodynamics has a bad impact on fuel consumption. One of Bebop's original features is the tailgate's functional and aesthetic opening system. First, an electric motor lifts the rear window above the roof. The lower part opens downwards, while a shelf automatically slides forward to house luggage and parcels. But I love these seats. Never mind the Zephyra's back seats going down into the floor. Have a look at what these seats do curving their way majestically underneath the front ones. A great idea, unless you happen to stuff your packed lunch under the front seat and forgot about it. I must say that the interior looks fab. The seats are anchored to a central arch which frees up floor space to create a sensation of spaciousness. The polished aluminium gear lever rises over the central arch, which houses all the other main controls, such as heating, air conditioning, navigation and music. But will they ever make the Bebop or the Bebop? Well, after getting their fingers really badly burned with the Aventine project, I think Renault bosses will have to be pretty sure of its success before they commit to production.